We started as a very small group of men, and we began inviting people in who could answer our questions. We invited in doctors and lawyers and agency representatives. We invited in psychologists, surrogate moms, parents, egg donors. And from that, we developed this full format conference. I think it's very daunting in the beginning to think about all these different steps you have to take to get to the end result, which is an amazing child. Um, but if you really break down those steps, um, it becomes a lot more manageable. We have six or seven, depending on the year, conferences a year. Uh, ranging from San Francisco to New York, uh, Chicago. We're in Belgium and Brussels every year. And et puis uh, tout au long de ce processus, en fait, uh, on s'est rendu compte que nos chances d'adopter uh, à l'époque étaient très, 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 très minces. Advantage to the people attending is that they can go around and they can understand who's out there, who's available, and to find the right fit for themselves. I think this conference is wonderful because it helps spread the word about the reproductive options that are open for gay, gay men. That it's one place where you can get a lot of information in a short amount of time. Everybody has something different to offer, so it's best to just, you know, go around, meet with everybody. I think what we're most proud of is uh, something called the Gay Parenting Assistance Program, or GPAP. My mission in this whole area as a professional is to make whether you can afford to have a child not stop you from having a child. And I see a partner in men having babies to do that. Okay, everybody, I have to tell you, congratulations. You have made it through surrogacy boot camp.